This is my glamorous assistant, right here. Today we're going to talk about crude oil as a fuel. Now crude oil is the most commonly used source for all fuels, such as petrol, diesel, and kerosene. Petrol is primarily made up of hydrocarbons, such as alkanes and alkenes. See, this is the fractionating column, and oil is vaporized before it enters this column so that it can be separated. The oils that are lower level hydrocarbons rise to the top where they condense and exit, and the higher chain hydrocarbons exit from the bottom pipe as they have not risen. LPGs are at the top, and these are generally lower chain hydrocarbons. Petroleum, which is of course the common fuel used in cars, is on the second tier. And then working down, kerosene, which is used in planes, and diesel, which is used in other cars. At the bottom, the residue, which is not evaporated, leaves by the bottom pipe because it does not manage to condense at a higher level. It consists of the higher chain hydrocarbons. That, simply, is the fractionating column. Now, we are going to burn a low carbon chain hydrocarbon, methane. Now, methane is a gas and it generally comes out of the gas taps in the laboratory. Now, methane is the gas that is generally found in Bunsen burner taps and it is a low chain hydrocarbon. As you can see, when combined with oxygen, it burns in a bright flame. Orange when there is less methane, and blue when there is more. Now this hydrocarbon is butane. It has a slightly longer chain than methane, which is why it is a liquid at this temperature. Of course, um, higher chain hydrocarbons at a similar temperature will slowly become more viscous. Now, there are several features which classify a long chain hydrocarbon from a short chain hydrocarbon. The first common feature of a long chain hydrocarbon is a higher boiling point. As we saw earlier, methane has a lower boiling point as it remains as a gas at room temperature. Longer chain hydrocarbons generally have a higher boiling point, are less volatile, have a higher viscosity, and are much less flammable.